Hey guys and girls, my name is Azaria and in this video I'm going to be talking about maintaining your hard drive space while working with ZBrush. So let's roll that bumper. Yeah, so we gonna be Alright, so what happens when you use ZBrush is the fact that every stroke that you add on your character or when you push and pull points and you move the surface, it gets tallied up as your history. And your history contributes to the virtual memory that you are using. So this is one example of um, a project that I am doing. And as I progress, you will notice that my history tab is rather full. One other thing that you could do is you could go to your edit and you will see that you have an undo history counter now you might want to keep this for a large number of reasons number one you might want to um, do a time-lapse video when you are building this from scratch and you will require the history I will create a video on how to do that it's rather quick rather simple the issue now is that ZBrush constitutes this as virtual memory and virtual memory essentially is every move every stroke every push and every pull that you have created into zbrush zbrush creates a little file on your hard drive or numerous little files on your hard drive and that results in your hard drive losing space so the first place that we are going to go is is in your my computer all right, so we are going to go on whatever PC you are using. So it's going to be this PC or whatever name you got for your PC, the local disk or your C drive. And you are going to go to your users, public, public documents. And also depending on the type of ZBrush you are using, I'm using ZBrush 2018 currently. If you're using a lesser version of ZBrush, then you will be presented with a ZBrush data folder corresponding to that uh, version of ZBrush you are using. So in my case, it's ZBrush 2018. So the folder in question is ZBrush data 2018. And once you are in that folder, the first thing you want to look at is your quick save folder. All right. Remember that ZBrush also saves on increments. There are ways in which you can set that but if you want to free up space then it would be wise to delete these as they can accumulate over time and cause you a lot of headaches so if we go to properties you will see that it's about two gigabytes of information just from zbrush and also be mindful of the fact that you could be using zbrush for um, for freelancing or you could be using it in a studio environment and you are hopping around from project to project and you are building characters rapidly and you are testing them out doing test renders using uh, Keyshot so there's a folder called external renderer as well and as you can see it's almost four gigabytes and if we go in it pretty much creates a file of every material that you have created within ZBrush and correlates it to the Keyshot uh, settings. So this means that if ever your Keyshot crashes, you can quickly open and recover the work which you have lost because this little folder contains all the information. So it's good to come back occasionally to clean this up because as you can see, I have like four gigabytes width of information another place that you could go to is your virtual memory folder as well and as you can see it is almost a gig as well and if the sizes of these can get rather ridiculous depending on what you are doing so if you are recording a time lapse I'm telling you for a fact that your hard drive is definitely going to run out of space so it's good to come to these areas and you know just clean up the house once in a while also a word of caution just make sure that 
everything that you are working on is backed up and it is safe okay I have a disease where I don't save my work and this helps me out but occasionally I would wonder why is it that my hard drive is running out of memory and this would be the culprit all right I've also created a video called how to free up space within ZBrush uh, I'm going to put the image here so that you can find it on my YouTube channel so that's pretty much it to locate this folder go to your local hard drive go to users under your public folder public documents ZBrush data depending on which ZBrush uh, version you are using and look at your external renderer if you are using uh, Keyshot to render because it makes a copy of the images that you are using it makes a copy of the textures you are using and it also mimics um, the shaders that you have in ZBrush crossing over to Keyshot so that's place number one place number two is your quick save no no not, not your quick save your virtual memory as well so virtual memory like I said it has to do um, with the history and it has to do with you recording time lapses within ZBrush so this would also be good uh, to clean out once in a while and then place number three is your quick save all right and like I mentioned before I have created a video that shows you how to switch your quick save location to maybe another hard drive that you might have or maybe uh, if you partitioned your hard drive that could also work in that um, stage as well so once again guys thank you so much for checking out my tutorial uh, not really a tutorial but you know just some helpful advice on how to avoid headaches within ZBrush and happy sculpting <laughs>